What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. What's up? <laughs> What's going on? Another episode of The Walking Dead, the finale esque. Before the finale, of. yeah, it's it kind of sucks. This is the Tower yeah, episode 15. Suck. Yeah, it really does suck because it would have, you know, I was actually I was I was really into this episode. This was a really yeah, good too. episode. Um, as usual, we've got questions from our viewers and stuff and fans yeah. of the show. So uh, we're gonna get to those and um, yeah, I mean let's uh, let's just uh, let's just jump into it, man. What'd you think of this episode, real quick? Was it good? Uh, you... I, no, I really enjoyed this episode, mm -hmm. and that's a big reason of why. Um, no, I'm kind of pissed that we're not gonna see this finale, and who knows yeah. when. I know uh, it really probably... killed the momentum. It really yeah. like. Yeah. It's going to kill the momentum, you know. Well, you just have to watch yeah. this episode again before. Well, I mean, it was good at least. So maybe that'll bring up that, yeah. like, you know, we'll be really, um, um, what's the word? Uh, we'll just be really ready for this, for the finale when we kind of get a, the expectation, I right, should say. Right, when it comes in, yeah. Uh, so that'll be good. All right. Um, all right, so let's get into question one. I'm sorry if you guys hear my dog barking. and She's, like, being ridiculous. Quarantine. Uh, there's... Um, all right, so this is from Mike R. from the from the Walking Dead group. Uh, he says, how did you feel about the character, the princess, in this episode? So I'll let you start that out. Um, what do you think of her? Uh, I know that you know about the comic stuff, too, so I don't know if you want to compare what you think of her. Um, from I'm going to – yeah, I mean, you know what? Honestly, I'm, all right, first off, I loved it. I love her uh, – uh, Juanita Sanchez, she doesn't like the name Juanita, so she calls herself princess and be – she yeah. says she doesn't call herself queen because that's too – uh, like like old or something, too hoity toity thinking. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, she's just yeah, too old and so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really like this character on a number for a number of reasons. One, um, because it's it's she brings not she brings she adds more than just literal color. Yeah. You know what I mean to the show. Um, yeah. it's a character. It's it's a it's just a fun character. It's just a it's an interesting character. She's not out of place because she's a person who was living by herself for a year. And yeah. she's basically gone a little nutty. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I uh, I thought it was I you know I I like the actress who's playing her. I think she played her well. Um, she's got the right you know a chutzpah. She's got you know like I said this color. She has a little color to the scenes. And I don't mm. know, man. I really enjoy her, man. I think I think she's. Um, I was waiting for this character compared to the to the comic. It's basically the same thing, you know. Yeah. What I mean, the comic is obviously flat, and you only have her speech and stuff. But it's basically the same type of thing. She's, you know, I don't, I haven't read that in what it's been a couple of years now since that's probably yeah. happened and went down in there, and I've read it. But you know, I I, I thought she was great. I thought she was absolutely great. What'd you think? Yeah, I, I mean, I thought she. I don't know. I, I I towards the end of the episode, I I I liked her. I thought she was a, a bit. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying like annoying. I don't know. I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling her too much because I'm thinking if this character is so like, um, just like off and he, you know, and, and maybe like her mental status and maybe that's because yeah. she's been alone for, for, for a year in the city and just, uh, how could a person like that survive this for 10 years of the apocalypse? If you're just like, so like, um, she didn't know like, with the with the minefield and and why would you take these people through there and yeah you know, it's a little shooting the guns off and and scaring the horses well and... she's not she's not like you know what I mean it's like yeah that's her that's her she's like not yeah I know and it's just I don't know I think it was like maybe like a little unbelievable at first I mean I liked when she broke down she kind of told you know Yumiko kind of yeah. you know let her let her be a part of the group but. I just thought for like for a person that does the the actions that she did in this episode and and uh, we saw the consequences that um maybe how how, did, how would this person kind of survive? I guess I mean if she is in the city and it was alone like she was like the only one there she said um I mean maybe you don't have much of a threat but uh yeah I, I mean <laughs> I did enjoy her though at the end I I really yeah. did enjoy the scenes with them and and the wheels she called them and there were all these bikes Yeah I mean so I think that was cool. You know the thing is it kind of sums it up a little bit she has this one line where she says you know I've had people tell me I'm hard to love you know so that could that yeah. kind of sums it up a little bit like that's her character yeah. that's we all know people like that you know what I mean so mm -hmm. it's like you know but yeah she you know uh, yeah, the, again, it was motivations are a little weird, but but then again, it, it's part of the character, you know. And she does, like yeah. you said, explain to them why she took them through the field and not, you know. But yeah, you know, 
either way, I, I think she's a really good addition. Um, it's it's nice to see a different character. It's nice to see a new character for once, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Know, not not that all, all of our other characters are not interesting enough to be with, but they're all sad and gloomy all the time. So it's just nice to see that. So Yeah, that's true. That's true. And we're going to need her. You know, we're going to yeah. need that weapon. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because <laughs> of what's, cause of what's um, eventually yeah. going to happen. So. Um, so we've right. got, we, yeah, we've got a few more questions. Let's just move it yeah. along, I guess. Uh, from Phil S., he says, uh, do you think Judah should have told Dowler about um, Michonne looking for Rick? What do you think, man? Uh, I mean, I would have liked to see that because I would have liked to see how Daryl took that information. Um, I always yeah. want, I, I, not even just him, eventually if um, other characters Anybody, start learning yeah. about about what's going on. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll, we'll get that in the finale. That could also bring a little bit more, um, uh, uh, I don't know, just, 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 uh, just uh, some cool information that'll, that'll, that'll be in what a finale should be, you know, getting that bombshell and everybody like dealing with that information would be right, cool yeah. to see in the finale. So, uh, maybe we'll see that then, uh, you know, why it's, do you um, think she didn't? I think, I, I think she didn't because of what she said. Really, even that though she th- Michonne want, she went off, to leave. yeah, she didn't want him to leave. And yeah. uh, again, Daryl doesn't even promise her that he's not going to leave. Yeah, well, he he's says, honest with her. He's honest with yeah. her. I, I, it was a very, very sweet scene with them. She's, yeah, oh. she's, she's so cute. That, that, that actress. That was. I wrote down she's here. Very dude, good. <laughs> I wrote down here. That's one of the best scene. The that was one of the best. I can't speak. That's one of the best scenes. I think they've they've kind of had in the show. Yeah, and especially yeah. in a long time. Yeah. Um. I really and you know, I really enjoy you know and and you know a few episodes ago they had a really nice scene together too, before mm-hmm. the uh, horde attacked, and yeah. um, I don't know I thought it was really good but I agree I was like tell her tell him tell him tell him yeah. tell him and then she it's, just it's, says this and I'm like yeah damn it yeah I liked it it's I gonna it was be great. it's almost like it's almost like um it was, after all said and done like this whole whisperer thing is complete if if the, if bait is killed or the horde is destroyed or whatever the case is mm-hmm. for everybody to have that big kumbaya moment in, like the finale mm-hmm. you know where judith tells everyone and for judith to be the one to stand maybe in front of all the 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 group and the and the survivors and, yeah. and just to say this i wonder how negan's going to deal with this information if 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 he's still around or just you know carol all these people it's going to be awesome um and uh, yeah, that's something to look forward to. Hopefully, whenever the the finale airs, you know, um, I'm the, excited to the thi- to see that. If yeah, that, if sorry, that man. The, the thing is, yeah. is honestly, okay. So we know. Here's the thing: we're we're not going to this war isn't over. Obviously, so it's gonna it's gonna move to the next season. Most likely. Now, Most likely. honestly, I don't think I could deal with another friggin' another season even a half a season i don't think it'll be i don't think we you know what i mean like it's kind of like it's like, it's like it. yeah we need to end it I, I don't know anyway uh let's let's i think we have oh we have another question uh regarding judith and daryl's from ken yeah do you think yeah. daryl should have killed the whisperer with judith there um yeah uh, here's here's what i wrote i said sorry judith but you have to kill people now yeah like she said i want to learn i want to learn what you do you know and yeah, dude. Uh, yes, yes. She well, has was, to. I mean, yeah. She's got to learn. Was, this is the world yeah. you live in. This is the world. Yeah. But I, you know, right? What do you think? I mean, no, I really like that. You know, just to just to another scene with them. I mean, they they were they were great together. But just just for him to be able to be like, first of all, that she's out on her own. He's like, what are you doing out here? Like, who are you with? Well, she like, ran away because fuckers. she was she was like, yeah. I could get killed by this maniac at any moment. While this man yeah. is this man's literally hearing Alpha his own his own voice mixed with voice. Alpha's, and then yeah, the, little... then he hears then he starts hearing the horde at the end of the show. He, the guy's hearing the horde like he's. Putting yeah. the, you know what I mean? Like he's just, they're all in chorus to him. Like he's lost mm-hmm. his friggin' mind. Yeah, oh, more no, so. He's he's definitely lost it. So for Judith to be out there, um, is 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 crazy. Every time she's out on her own, I'm like, obviously, there's not nothing's gonna happen to Judith. I think she's gonna save. So I'm not necessarily worried about her getting chomped on or anything. But but for her to be a part of, um, like Daryl's little training operation now is is cool. How they're you know training. Uh, how she was. There was like a Walker scan or something on the tree, and he's yeah, like, "Is he's that like, is it alive?" Or, he's like, yeah, you yeah. know, so that was that was cool. Um, another good scene with them together. Uh, but as far as the question, I mean, yeah, I guess she has to see what really goes on. You you can't. And, these people killed everybody. Yeah, 
Yeah. They, they just yeah. forced you out of your home yet again. Like, oh, yes, they have to die. Sorry. Mm-hmm. It's and not... it's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of crazy b- because we're seeing how Rick was handling these and I think that's where Judith gets a lot of that um get gets that feeling of from is look at what look at what Negan did and look at what Rick did. Um so it's like Judith has that Judith's like what does she had a family we're just going to leave her out there we're not going to like yeah, bury well... her kind of a thing. So it's it's one of the let's go back really quick. I think it was uh, what a couple episodes ago we got the question. I forgot who it was by. I'm sorry, but um, remember when Judas killed the Walker, mm-hmm. uh, the Whisperer, and the and the mask was was off. We were asked, um, how do you think Judith is going to deal with this? Obviously, she's she's um, she's she, she didn't get like a bloodlust after that, right? Yeah, because right. of you know, um, or even just a side of her that's that's still questioning should we kill people because she questioned this uh for a moment with dow so yeah um still really cool them those two together are great even even quickly the negan and um and lydia um parts of yeah that was that was that was very interesting i i um you know you gotta have have a little bit hey man as an actor, you always want to have that one scene where you have to where you where you have to cry at the other actor and hit them and then collapse in their arms. You always yeah. got to have that, you know. So there you go. You got that. That's done in your career. You yeah. did that. You can move on. Good yeah. for you. Um, no, I liked it. You know, Negan. You yeah. Know, just uh, yeah. I mean, what are you gonna do? I like this. I like the scene. I also this is it's called episode fifteen, the tower, aka the cat episode. Yeah, because they mentioned cats more than once. We saw more than one cat. I think it was the same cat. To be it smells honest. like cat piss. Yeah, it smells <laughs> like cat. You know, I mean, this is the cat episode. Yeah. This is the most yeah. mention of any animals we've actually had probably this entire besides the dog. I mean, we had a dog, yeah. right? But where is yeah. dog? Well, how, dog come yeah. how come we don't he, see dog anymore? He was there. We saw him. We saw him, but like we don't see him yeah. a lot. Um, I don't know. I I just um, maybe like Ghost in Game of Thrones, the budget. Uh, you know, yeah, just yeah. No. Well, this is a real animal that they could just put yeah. on. You know, this isn't a, this isn't a you know. I know, a six it's, foot tall true. dire wolf that they have to try. Out, yeah, I mean, how come um, dog wasn't out there with with uh, Daryl Wallace? Right, don't, yeah, you know, I mean, that would make sense to have a dog. It's like, uh, you know, it's much better nose than than we have. So yeah, um, yeah. you know, I um I, I had a thought. Um, I want to I want to say this out loud. I want to put this out there in the universe. I I'm I'm really hoping that okay. So World Beyond has been uh the new the new show has been pushed back a little bit, but they're obviously you know they're gonna do these spinoffs. I would love if they're gonna if if each of their shows is pushing the pushing the universe further. This is what ten years after um uh the initial you know start of yeah. the the of the apocalypse uh, the World Beyond I'm talking about. I would love to see another spinoff where you have a grown Judith maybe in her um 30s you know like let's see judith in her 30s maybe she has maybe she has children maybe you know what i mean but and she's a leader i i mean i would love to see that i want to see grown judith because think about it we're seeing her grow now like we're seeing her childhood now and for as long as this original series the walking dead is going to go on she's going to be in it i don't think they're going to kill her so we're going to get to see her this year, next year. And then they might do another little bit of a time jump where she's 15. And then, you know what I mean? So, like, I would love to see yeah. a spinoff season, even if it's a limited series again, limited seasons of yeah. her. That would be fantastic. That's, that's, I'm putting that, that out even, the, I'm putting yeah. that out there. Yeah. I'd like to see that. Um, I'd like uh, to see that too. I think it's a, definitely a possibility. I mean, they yeah. can even wait till the character, till the actor actually gets a little a little older. I mean, this is no, something I'm that we can I'm saying older have. though, dude. I'm saying like give, like in her well, 30s. You know, this is this is this is the kind of well, it's true. This is the kind of I'm talking about just that specific actor getting older. But well, yeah. Even after this this show is 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 over, there can be, you know, a good five, six, seven, ten years, whatever it is. Right, right, Without right, right. The Walking Dead, and then all of a sudden they can just have this quick... Oh, that's true, and then you can have them yeah. come back. Yeah, you know. And then it would just, you know, I mean, listen, yeah. we know how, how people feel about the show, and AMC obviously knows what this, uh, what the Walking Dead universe brings to their channel and their network, so I don't think that after this show is gone and fear and all these other kind of things aren't on the air anymore, we're definitely going to be in for some walking dead later on sometime in in the future. We'll see. And I heard like some rumors about maybe one of the other movies being Mich- Michonne esque. Mm. So I don't know if, if, 
if uh, maybe she won't get in, she won't meet up with Rick for a while or something. Maybe we'll kind of see what 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 she's doing on her quest with these two other characters that maybe. she met. Okay. So I don't. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm I mean, look, those are basically it. extended episodes. You know, you yeah. figure the movie's an hour and a half, hour forty five, maybe even two hours. But those are yeah. basically like one or two episodes. So it's really yeah. not that. To be honest with you, it's not that much. The amount yeah. of production that goes into that's why that's why them doing movies is probably like yeah of course we can we do you know we do basically we do what four movies throughout the yeah. entire season you know or whatever you work that math out to mm-hmm. what is sixteen mm-hmm. hours right and every two hours yeah, so, yeah you know you're saying about you know but um uh, all right so we we got one, one last question uh, from John T yeah. um in the sneak peek we see Maggie will she ever be able to coexist with Negan oh so. Uh. <laughs> you know, so my, my my initial answer is I'm going to go back to the comic. A really interesting thing happens in the comic once because in the comic, Maggie stays the leader of Hilltop and, um, you know, everything's all out the window now. Hilltop is no long, no more, you know, Alexandria for all intents and purposes at this point is is emptied. You know, it's like, uh, you know, I, 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 I think. um <sighs> I think, I think, yeah, I think she's going to have to. I think there's going to be a tension there. And you know what? I mean, they may even do what they did in the comic, which I won't say because I don't want to spoil it. But there's a, there's a thing that happens in the comic that essentially ends Negan's arc, I would say. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, that's all I'll say about it. But, I mean, they very well could do that. Bringing Maggie back it just opens it up to that. So, yeah. you know. and Well... I mean, we'll see. We'll see if they even have the opportunity to even see each other, or who knows what happens to mm-hmm. Negan, or who knows. I mean, listen, we just got a quick little peek of her. Um, I mean, if you didn't see the the clip uh, we posted in the in our Facebook, the Walking Dead group, their person, the Walking Dead group, so you can check that out if you didn't see it. But you know, um, Maggie's on getting gets a note, and I believe uh, it was said that it was from Michonne, and it talks about who's. I mean, Maggie's been gone for six years. So, really, to answer the question, Maggie was a leader of this community that left. Jude, uh, Jesus died. Enid died. Um, Tara died. All these people that were leading the hilltop. So, in the, in Maggie's absence, the leaders really are now Daryl, Michonne, Aaron. Do you think that? Yeah. Do you think that Maggie would just come back and assume her uh, pres- position again? I don't. I don't know. Well, so not, not only that, to, none of those communities actually exist anymore. Everyone's all together now. Everybody's all really together, exactly. But but we have these new leaders. We have other parts of the group over oh, the yeah. last six years that Maggie may not even know or um, know known that they stepped up in the last six years. Maggie right. hasn't been around, so I'm I'm uh, I'm hoping that she uh, will know her place um, in a way. Uh, but to see. Maggie in the in the in the teaser is kind of cool, and I'm kind of excited to see how she's going to react to some of our characters. We'll see little Herschel finally, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, uh, you know that. we're going to see. I'm excited to see you know Maggie get reintroduced and see her old friends and to see Judith growing up a bit. So that mm-hmm. kind of stuff is is um, I'm excited to see, and hopefully we'll get we'll get that in the finale. I don't necessarily think so. I think. I don't know. From that clip, it doesn't. It seems like that might be like the end of the episode, kind of a thing or something. I don't know. So that's why maybe to go with your point earlier about how long this is going to go on. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get more of the battle, and then uh, we'll see this Maggie thing at the end. And maybe the first episode of like the premiere of Eleven might be like the end of it or something. Well, let's hold on. I want to go back. Battle. How do we know there's going to be a battle? They're they're right now. They're poised to be to get attacked in this hospital. We yeah. don't we don't know anything and 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 you know we didn't we didn't we didn't mention Aaron and um uh I can never remember this uh, guy's Alden. name Alden Alden yeah. we never yeah. meant we we didn't mention them all yeah. right that that annoyed me because mm. I thought the scene where they were hiding in the windmill was really cool but then they're like literally like ten feet away from the horn <laughs> talking loudly and he's used the, the damn radio and I'm like that is so yeah. stupid. That is very stupid. And then they're fighting and they're fighting. And then the in the in the preview, spoilers, we see this dude with um what do they call Kakuris or these uh the, these two yeah. blades on sticks. I forget the name of that weapon, but you know, and a mask. Like yeah. what the hell is that? That's not a whisper. And I and I'm thinking, 
did we meet that person in the comic? And and again, I'm only up to the point in the comics where they're like they're in the comic, like they just got to the Commonwealth and, and they're kind of seeing what's going on and everything. But it's like, yeah. I don't know. I think so, someone said. I think someone. Um, I read something that maybe we got this character. He was um, um, one of the governor. This goes back to the governor parts governor. in the comic book where the governor had like this. He was like, I guess the governor's right hand man. He was like a like a. I forgot the name of the guy oh, yeah. um, that they call him. They said maybe that they can introduce him that way. He wore like a mask or something, or I'm trying to. Think. And he Is had that. Guy, same I gotta weapon. look. You know, it's been a while. I had. I don't yeah. remember. I feel like it might be a comic reference. It might be someone from the comic. But. Yeah, I don't know. And then people had theories that it, it might have been Dwayne Morgan's son. Um, that you know. No, Morgan's son's Dwayne, dead. Yeah, I know, like... but we never like seen him as a walker. And there's people that are saying, "Oh, maybe it's you know," because they wore like that same like kind of cloak kind of thing. And mm, I, don't I don't know. know. But you know, we did I, see, we I did see, him. we did see Virgil come back. Yeah, that dude. So he that just left. Cool, that was a cool clip. That was a cool clip. Yeah, if you haven't seen the with, clip, you can uh, you know obviously you can check it out online, or you can go to our if you're in the group, you check it in the, out on the group. Um, yeah. All right, look. So. Listen, that I, I think we should we should get it. We're up here about twenty minutes. Let's 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 uh let's end it there. I mean, I've said everything I've had to say about yeah. this. Uh, anything else that you got to say about it? No, I mean, I'm like I said, we're gonna have to wait, see what happens with this finale yeah. episode and when it's gonna air. Yeah. Hopefully sooner than later. Yeah. But again, hopefully we have some good expectation. I'm sure they'll probably drop even a few more little teasers. Oh yeah, until, yeah, they want to. They, they're gonna probably try and keep it in the yeah. zeitgeist. You know, yeah. they, they they don't know how long it's gonna be, but yeah. So yeah, I don't, they're, I they're mean, definitely gonna try. Hold, so. Listen, can we can we hope for a summer? You know, for June, July. I kind mean, of at thing? this point, yeah, we don't even know when anything is happening. So, we don't know when. You know, April twelfth. It was supposed to happen this weekend. Coming up. Yeah. You know the the new would have show, been, and then right? We would have had. We would have had. Yeah, we would have had World Beyond on the what twenty first. No, it's the twelfth. I think it was yeah. supposed to come back on the twelfth. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was supposed to come on the twelfth. Uh, yeah, I think we had this conversation. Yeah, last yeah. Week. I was yeah. wrong. So, yeah. Um, so, the 12th. Yes. So, anyway, that that should do it. We'll see what you guys think about this episode, The Tower, uh, right in the comment section below. Obviously, we'll try to get to as many questions as we can. Uh, again, um, it's been a few days since the episode aired, so we're sorry that it's been out, uh, that we had to do this one a little Corona bit Corona 2020, man. Yeah, it's Schedules are messed schedules. up. Next week, we should be back on track, because I'm actually off again, Chris, on Monday. Um, okay. Okay. So we can maybe do something a little earlier in the week okay. to get these out a little sooner. So again, we apologize for that. Uh, we're on third person on all the social media outlets. So check us out. Obviously, we're always posting some cool stuff on there. We're going to try to get a little bit more po um, posts and polls, I should say, in YouTube before these episodes come out, too. It's a little fun interaction between us and you. Uh, check us out at the third person Facebook Walking Dead group. If you're not a part of that in the description, we have a lot of cool people too, that are always posting, you mm -hmm. know, little articles and clips and things. So it's cool to interact with people that way too. Not even just us, but just other members of the group. Yeah. So get in there. If you, um, want a little extra of the walking dead. And, uh, I think that's about it. That should do it. Everyone, please stay safe. Yeah. Yes. Um, stay inside. Don't go outside, please. I'm not going to do my rant again, but it's getting really bad out there and it's really mentally draining on me. And for tough. me, because I'm outside, and for Mike, because he's dealing with it firsthand where he works. So, you know, <clears throat> let's uh, let's just all like, you know, just yeah. stop going outside. I don't know. It sucks. I know it sucks. It all sucks. It all sucks. But anyway, uh, be yeah. safe. We love you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.